This is very good. We just got some information about the new world tournament game mode into Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, there is a chance that we could play this new game mode into the main story. Now, I'm about to tell y'all, but before I go ahead and do that, my guy, you still got five seconds to choose your option, all right? If you are ready to play with the new mechanics in DLC 5, I want you to go right, hit the like button, and turn on your notification bell. But if you don't want to play, I want you to go left at the dislike button because uh, you have no imagination. All right, but again, I really do appreciate y'all, man, but I'm super excited about this. So let's go get to this video, bro. All right, y'all, so look, man, first thing first, man, please make sure y'all watch this full video from beginning to the end so you do not miss a single detail. Another thing is, bro, you know I've been telling y'all, bro, your boy been grinding on Twitch, man. So please make sure you go follow your boy Twitch, man. We just hit 1,000 um, 1, followers, bro. And again, bro, if you're going to go follow it, bro, please make sure you hit the bell. Just don't go follow and just leave you know what i'm saying make sure you hit the bell and support your boy all right now i know that's not what you came for you came for the crazy stuff now we need to go ahead and get into this this looks pretty interesting not gonna lie i peeped some stuff that i don't see nobody talking about i peeped a little bit of different things all right so first thing first let's go ahead and get into it all right now bandai namco it wasn't even bandai namco america it was bandai namco asia or something i don't know it's bandai we can't even take them serious all right now they posted on a um on their Twitter, they said that time to rumble in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC 5. The 23rd World Tournament as a unique ground battles are now available to play. It's not available to play now, but they're tweaking. But they said, while the battles are unpredictable, the rules are simple. Okay, I read that right. Okay, the rules are simple. Stay in the ring and get up within 10 counts or you're out. All right. And they um, posted some HD quality pictures. So it says 10 count and you're out. All right. I really don't get what this is like i understand they talking about if you get knocked down then you get right back up so we don't have health bars so if our health bars go all the way down we get knocked that we get back up like i don't understand how this mechanic works obviously we know how the ring out mechanic where if you step out the ring say goodbye you're done you know what i'm saying bro but i don't think i don't really fully understand this mechanic like how it's gonna work I understand if you get knocked down duh you just gotta tap b to get back up i'm saying do we have a separate health bar for that do we have a stamina bar do we is it a certain move that knock us down you get what i'm saying bro there's certain stuff like that now we're going to come back to the screenshot because something very interesting about this screenshot all right now um they uploaded some high um high quality pictures you can see this now like i told y'all bro this might just be a um this red aura around goku and everything like that bro it might just be a little cool little kick you know how in the main game he got that little Ah, he got that punch move in his red. It might be the same thing that he got for this one, but it just might be a kick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, bro. Um, I'm trying to see any other screenshots. You got this one. He fighting Tien. This this stage and the crowd looks so fire. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you can see the crowd and everything, it looks so beautiful. All right. And um, now I want to go ahead and talk about this, bro. I want to go ahead and talk about this because this is very interesting to me all right now i'm super excited about this new game mode we'll be getting with these new mechanics the ground mechanics everything super excited but it's really not that exciting if we're not going to get it in the main game because we just got to always go back to dlc 5 just to play if they're not going to put it in the main game it's kind of like uh like you feel me like i can't use it with piccolo i mean with my piccolo with my goku with my trunks with my you get what i'm saying but this screenshot is very interesting now prove me wrong prove me wrong I want to go ahead and talk about this. Now you see, you see these things right here, these little brown things, these little, those only pop up if there's an enemy near you. All right, why is there three of them? You only fight one person in the tournament. You know, bro. You know what I'm talking about. When you in, when you in Kakarot and you flying around and you know like those arrows pop around, it pops around when there's like three enemies near you. Who was he fighting three at three at once? Am I tweaking? Come on, I'm not tweaking, bro. I'm not tweaking, bro. Who is he fighting? So, I don't understand why is there three arrows. If it was one arrow, then yeah, he's fighting Piccolo. But why is there three? Who 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 else is on the stage? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't really understand this. I really don't understand this. All right, I really just Y'all let me know in the comment section below if I'm if I'm if I'm forgetting a mechanic or something or if I'm saying something wrong, but I'm pretty sure those arrows mean those are three enemies near you or about to come at you or attack you. You know what I'm saying? He's only fighting Piccolo because you can see the clothes he has right here. He don't have his little armbands or something like that. Cause you see in this Piccolo right, I mean this picture right here. You see his clothes right here. Remember his clothes right here. Look at his shoulders. When he fights right here, 
he has he has the green he has not the green he has the black thing right here when he's fighting tn so obviously he's fighting piccolo right here so i don't know what those three arrows are i don't know my guy i don't i haven't seen nobody try to justify what those are but we're gonna have to see man we're gonna have to see bro and um uh well, it was something else i wanted to show y'all it was something else okay and this was another thing right here bro this was another thing i want to talk about I understand this is obviously this is not shot in the main game because you can see the background you can see all the little people here obviously this is in dlc um, 5 all right but piccolo got ringed out piccolo didn't lose <laughs> piccolo didn't lose until he fought goku now i know you might be like oh well this is might when he fought goku and goku ringed him out if you go to this v-jump scan piccolo's in like demon mode his clothes is all ripped up he don't have his turban on when he did this and goku's shirt is completely off right here now this scenario right here i'm thinking of when this is when piccolo fought krillin wait did piccolo fight krillin right am i tweaking yeah piccolo fought krillin all right i'm thinking this scenario is where piccolo fought krillin and we're playing as piccolo and krillin knocked us out then this is how this scenario happened all right because piccolo didn't lose all the way up till goku you know what i'm saying bro so i don't understand what this screenshot could be that's the only thing i could think of is wait a minute goku health bar is right here what is going on is there an extra fight that we missing <laughs> I'm tweet wait bro they only fought one time but I have not seen the 23rd world tournament all right I mean I haven't seen that in a while like it's been wild like I was gonna rewatch it the other day but I didn't want to rewatch it and play the DLC and don't get excited I want the DLC to tell me but I'm pretty sure they only fought one time and why is Piccolo closed like this and this V jumps and he says ring out and this V jumps game he's all beat up with no turban and everything and Goku got his shirt off I don't know, bro. I don't know if they just did these for the pictures, maybe for the V-Jump scans or something like that. Um, but I don't know, bro. This is very interesting. This is actually very interesting because this doesn't correlate. Because we're using Goku because his health bar is right here. I thought right here we'll be using Piccolo and we'll be fighting Krillin and Krillin knocked us out. And this is how we get this screenshot. But this right here is telling me we're using Goku and we knock Piccolo out. But Piccolo clothes is not damaged in this picture. He still has his turban on. So I don't know, bro. I might I might be missing something in the 23rd World Tournament. Like I said, I have not seen this in so many years. I haven't seen that, bro. I want to I wanted Kakarot to tell me. I didn't want to go rewatch the show. But y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all what y'all think about this scenario right here, too. Because um there was another scenario like that. Same thing with Goku. Same thing with Goku right here. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Goku because if Piccolo, well, this could be obviously us getting knocked out by the opponent, then they just show us what it looks like. This obviously can be that, but I don't know. I mean, if he's not, this obviously could be that fight because they could just show us from our point of view what our knockout could look like. You know what I'm saying, bro? But yeah, bro. But um, I'm super excited for this DLC, man. I want to see the route they take and everything. I want to see how far they actually go because there's a lot of stuff about these screenshots that just doesn't really make sense in my book i'm in mean, my opinion bro like this one is the three arrows right here like somebody's coming towards him you only fight one person in the tournament um this obviously shows us our point of view of us getting knocked out but that piccolo screenshot just really doesn't make sense in my book like i said please correct me in the comment section below but yeah man um i really hope this comes into the main game bro it really not gonna it's gonna be fire, but if it's not coming to the main game, then I feel like it's gonna be kind of weird. Let's read y'all comments real quick. What is this comment to the hype? Uh, uh, ring out system. Just, like, just figuring that out. I just have finally um, bro. I'm telling you, a lot. I've been seeing a lot of y'all comment talking about one v one online tournament. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that would be so fire, bro. Especially with these mechanics, an online could finally work in Kakara. That could be. So fire you know what i'm saying bro but i don't know man i don't know that's that's actually a good comment bro but yeah man just reading y'all type of stuff and see what y'all talking about man i'm super excited bro i'm glad they finally added a new mechanic bro and like i said i really hope they add it to the main game if they're not adding it to the main game it's gonna kind of suck but we still get it played in dlc 5 so we still get to try it out you know what i'm saying bro and plus i checked the data files the other day well this morning i checked it 16 hours ago they just changed the like a tag or some weird stuff like that then they've been working on 2.00 same thing as the other day but yeah man 
super excited about this DLC, man. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about it. Let me know what y'all think, bro. Again, I really do appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all, man. And um, I'm going to keep y'all updated, bro. We've been consistent. I've been uploading. Try to upload every day. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the video. And I'm out, bro. I'm out. President Rose.